Hey, what's good guys? It's Clutch City Entertainment here, back with another video. And for today's video, we're going to be talking about the Houston Texans and a recent signing they just made. Um, they signed Taewon Taylor, a wide receiver. Um, he seems a little bit like a slot wide receiver. He's 5'11", 203 pounds. So pretty, pretty on the light side, I guess. I mean, not the biggest guy, not the smallest guy. I believe he's just one inch taller than Randall Cobb and Brandon Cooks. So, I mean, pretty much a slot guy. Um, he was drafted by the Tennessee Titans in the third round, 72nd overall of the 2017 NFL Draft. Um, he's still pretty young. He's 26. He went to, I think it was Western Kentucky, if I'm not mistaken. Um, his college stats seem pretty solid, if I'm not mistaken. Um, in 2013, he played 10 games, 24 receptions, 270 yards. In 2014, 12 games, 45 receptions, 767 yards. 2015, as a junior, 14 games, 86 receptions, 1467 yards with 17.1 average. And in 2016, his senior year of college, he played in 14 games, 98 receptions, and 1,730 yards with a 17.7 average yards per catch with 17 touchdowns. So, I mean, actually, after reading over his college stats in the beginning, they were like, all right, all right. In junior year, okay. Senior year, oh, wow. So, it's like, he seems like a pretty good player. I mean, he looks like a steal of a free agent signing um i know he hasn't played in the nfl in over two years but i mean his college stat i know it's western kentucky but 1700 yards with 17 touchdowns in 14 games that's over i think it's like over an average of one touchdown a game over an average of 100 yards a game so i mean dang that's pretty that's pretty good no matter what college you went to in the NFL, in his rookie year, 2017, he played in 16 games. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He had 16 receptions, 231 yards, 14.4 average, with 53 as his long and one touchdown. So, I mean, his rookie year, eh, it was a little bit eh for a third-round pick. But, I mean, it's still potential. In his 2018 year with the Titans, he had 37 receptions, 466 yards, 12.6 average with a long 55 with one touchdown. So, I mean, it's a much better season than his rookie season. Um, and he looks like a pretty good player. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched any tape on him. I'm just recording it as we sign him. So, I mean, his stats, just based off his stats alone, it seems pretty good. He seems like a high, I guess, boom, a high boom or bust type of guy. Um, I'm guessing we probably gave him like a one-year, probably $2 million deal. Nothing crazy, obviously. But my biggest concern over him, he hasn't played in two years. Does he have talent? I mean, obviously, he's still 26. He had very good college stats. He played okay in his first two NFL years. Nothing crazy. I mean, 400 yards for a starter receiver who wasn't a starter, who was a backup. That's pretty good. Nothing crazy. Um, But, yeah, I kind of love this signing. As I said, it's a high-risk, high-reward signing. Seems to be like a camp body. See if he can win out the starting job, maybe over Randall Cobb if he has a good camp. Um, maybe to see if we don't pay Kiki QT after the season, we could pay him instead and be cheaper. Um, but I don't know. It's going to be an interesting signing. I'm excited to see what we can bring to camp and excited to see what we can bring to the Houston Texans. Let me know y'all got y'all's guys thoughts over him. And, um, if you like the signing, if you think it's going to be a starter or whatever it is. But, um, yeah, it's been Clutch City Entertainment. I hope you guys have a good day. Peace.